this is Hannah Williams from Salary Transparent Street. We're in Seattle, Washington. Let's go ask some people what they do and how much they make. I'm an accountant. How much do you make? $92,000 a year. So how long have you been doing it? Four years. Do you feel fairly compensated? No, because I work too much. What are the best and worst parts of your job? I like the flexibility of it yeah. and it had a lot of benefits, but what I hate the most is when I work every weekend for a month or two straight. It doesn't feel great. I work at in the cloud infrastructure department. Hey, how much do you make? My total comp would be about $200,000 a year. How long have you been doing it? Ten and a half years. Do you feel fairly compensated for your total years of experience and where you live? Technically no, but I know overall um, it's, it's a good compensation, especially for where I live, absolutely. How do you feel about cost of living? I mean, I own my place, but from like a rent perspective, yeah, it's pretty expensive to live in Seattle. What do you want to do in the future? Where do you hope to be five years from now? I mean, I'll still probably be working in tech, but eventually the goal is to retire as fast as possible. What do you do? A software engineer for mobile apps. How much do you make? Base salary is 205000 The bonus is anywhere from 25% of that to 50%. So, yeah. How long have you been doing it? The career forever, the current place for like a year okay. and a half. Do you like it? I do. I love the career. What would you recommend your daughter get into? Whatever makes her happy. Do you know what your dad does and how much he makes? He's a tech guy for... I don't know how much he makes. I am a systems engineer and I make about $200,000 a year. How long have you been doing it? About 25 years. What do you want to do when you grow up? Be a photographer. And do you both talk about money? Like, do you have conversations with allowance and budgeting? Sometimes. Sometimes. Not enough. How do you try to introduce those conversations with your kid? We talk about responsibility and not being able to just get something because you want it and you have to save up and earn for it. I'm a registered nurse. I'm becoming an aircraft technician. How long have you been doing it? A year now? Yeah, I just achieved my, yeah, one year. <laughs> this is my third year into it. How much do you make after you get that? I mean, that's your starting pay, like 35 to uh, 46. But uh, legit, like, if you get seniority, it'd like double that, like to like 80 or something like that. What about you? I work as a community health nurse, so I'm on the little bit lower, low quote on end, but uh, 78K for salary. Is this your dream job? I don't know. <laughs> and that one year, and I'm like, well, I don't know anymore. If flying the aircraft rather than like maintaining it, like, I mean, obviously, I would like to do that, but like, Maintaining the aircraft is really important because we're all here for safety. We don't want anyone like in hurt. That's kind of like why I'm here, like just to learn the aircraft and then make some money, honestly. I'm a teacher, kindergarten. I'm a TV news producer. How much do you make? I make 54. I make 39K. Do you feel fairly compensated for where you live if you're from here? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not. What did you study in school? Elementary education. And I also have my master's. <laughs> Journalism. You like what you do? Yes. <laughs> I kind of like it. I'm getting used to it. I've only been at it for like six months, so getting there. Are you a couple? Yes. I'm guessing. Okay. How do you handle pay differences? Like, do you split rent 50-50? Is that something you both talk about? Yeah. I mean, we make it as even as possible. Yeah. Well, she's a leasing agent for apartments, so she sells apartments. She makes, I think, about like 40000 a year, 45 okay. He's a s solar installer, okay. and I think he makes around 50, 60. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, about like 50, right? yeah, about like 50,000. Yeah. So if you guys are a couple and you have a salary discrepancy, how do you handle bills, like going to the restaurant? Yeah, we usually yeah. split. We'll do like one of us will pay one day or uh, just since I bring in a little more money, I'll pay a little more stuff here and there, just try to pay even it out. But she definitely picks up a lot of the time. So we're yeah. definitely splitting Equal. it, yeah. <laughs> do you like what you do? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're from Arizona, but we're making good money for what we do. I was just laid off from a marketing agency, but I wasn't PR and influencer marketing. How much did you make before you got laid off? It's around 60K. Why'd you get laid off? I think because of budget cuts, but they let go people from director to entry level, so it's just kind of a bummer. What are you going to do next? Something internal comms, hopefully external comms, but hopefully a corporation, like internal marketing oh. instead. How much are you going to ask for at the next job? Probably about 75, but I'm interviewing, so we'll see. I'm a travel nurse. How much do you make? I would say roughly around ninety to $100,000 a year. I think all nurses should get raises, no matter if you're staff or if you're travel nurses. How often do you travel? Every 13 weeks, typically, but we like to stay a little bit longer at certain locations. So we've been here since July. How long have you been doing it total? Five years. What's your best advice for others who might want to get into nursing? I would say go for it. It's a great profession. It's super beneficial, and I think that you can make a difference. I'm a travel nurse. How much do you make? Yearly, like $123,000. Did you leave a previous job to get into travel nursing? Yeah, I used to work at a Everett, Washington. How was your salary there? It wasn't great, honestly. It was like maybe 30 bucks an hour when I first started out. Yeah. Are you happy you did yeah. the switch? 
Oh, for sure. Do you have any recommendations for others? Just do it, honestly. A lot of people like debate about it and they're like trying to figure out the logistics because you have to have like two apartments and whatnot, but just honestly, just do it. It's awesome. How often do you travel? A contract's like three months, so every three months I get to go somewhere new. I'm a producer for a sports team and I make 85000 I work for a tech company working on customer escalations and data analysis, and I make 105000 How'd you get into your position? I started out as an usher with a baseball team and then moved here last year for this job. I studied a little bit of business and like public communications in college, but then worked at a bank and kind of just worked my way up and then moved to a tech firm. Do you all have a big piece of advice for anyone who might be interested in doing what you do? If you want to work sports jobs, I mean, get in any way you can. If you want to be an usher or like anything, like selling popcorn, just get to know people, you'll get in pretty fast. If you want to work at a tech firm, work on your soft skills. Really make sure you're the type of person who's going to work hard at what you do. They're going to teach you what they want you to learn. And what do you do? Vendor management. How much do you make? It's the 80, same, like 80-ish, 80 80K? Yeah. yeah. And how long have you been doing it? Year and a half. 18 months? Yeah. What did you study in school? How'd you get here? I studied business and marketing. I was business and Spanish. Do you like what you do? Yeah. For the most part. It's a good <laughs> starting job out of school. Good opportunity, so. Do you feel like you're fairly compensated for cost of living around here? No. I can afford, like, my life, but I, I think there could be a little bit extra in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely can live, but I think versus, like, what other people kind of, like, producing what we're doing, like, just, like, the work, I think we could yeah. be paid more. How much do you hope to be paid in five years? Maybe yeah. 110, 120? <laughs> I would be probably 120, yeah. I am a financial planner. How much do you make? I make 85000 How do you feel about that related to cost of living around here? I think it could definitely be better, especially with inflation and everything else. It's actually pretty trying. Do you like what you do? Kind of. It's fine. It's very stressful, especially in the world that I work in. It's like home furnishings and it's, it's a tough market out there right now. What are the best and worst parts of what you do? Best parts are definitely the people. The worst parts are the manic choices made by leadership and to drop everything like after looking at sales over a day or something like that. So. How long have you been doing this total? I've been doing it for about six years. Is that what you studied in school? How'd you get into it? That is what I went to school for. I went to school for economics. So yeah, just kind of fell into it. Any advice for your leaders, maybe things that they could do differently? Remember that we're human beings, I think is the biggest thing. We're not just robots. I am a direct support staff, so I take care of disabled adults. What about you? Uh, I work at mall kiosks. How much do you make? Per hour, I make nineteen twenty-five. Uh, yearly, probably, I'd say no more than thirty. How do you afford cost of living? We just budget, budget, budget. That's what we do a lot. What about you? We live in a share house, and I work at the mall kiosks, and I make about one hundred and thirty a day. Do you feel like you're fairly compensated? Not for the job that I do, but yeah. What about you? I do because I, I feel like you know I work for a private owner, so yeah, and he treats us pretty good. So. Do you like what you do then? I love what I do. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Positive impact, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fun. Uh, you know, get to sell stuff. I'm a senior administrative assistant. How much do you make? Twenty-seven dollars an hour. How long have you been doing it? For about four months. Do you like it so far? I do like it. Cool. How'd you get into it? I work for a company and I just switched positions. I was a coordinator. Do you have any advice for others who might want to switch internally? What worked for you? It's really nice to talk to your managers and see if there's any potential growth that they might be open to because if you have your manager support, they're really good advocates for growth. I'm a psychotherapist. I'm a pipe fitter. How much do you make? Since I'm private practice, I actually make significantly more than I would in like a community mental health center or nonprofit. So I'd say roughly around 80000 a year. About 90000 Do you feel fairly compensated for your cost of living where you live? Not really. No, not with the amount of business expenses that go with it. Student loan payments. I have 120000 in student loans. So not exactly. And what did you study? I have an undergraduate degree in sociology, psychology, and women's studies and a master's of social work. What about you? I just went to an apprenticeship. Did you do that at a community college? How'd you find it? No, it's through our union hall. You get paid to go to school pretty much. Is this your dream job? Is this what you'd like to do? This is what I wanted to do since I was a child. Yeah, I've always wanted to be one. I am a public administrator. How much do you make? $242,000 a year. Can you describe what you do in one sentence? I oversee homeless programs for a very large nonprofit in the city of Los Angeles. Oh, that's a big role. And what's your biggest struggle in that job? Not enough housing, not enough housing, not enough housing.